The whole Manila had come out to watch their hero, Efren Reyes, play fellow Filipino, Dennis Orculio. What an interesting lineup we have for the last 32. Some old friends. And one or two you look at and go, who on earth is he? Loaded with Chinese Taipei players and Filipinos. With a smattering of Hungarians, Russians, Indonesians, Vietnamese, Scotsmen. It's uh, it's a good, healthy mix. It's a, it's a true world sport. Didn't always used to be that way. This was an American-dominated game up to about 20 years ago. <coughs> now there's great players all over the globe. And they've got most of them here this week. You're not wrong there. And some of them have uh, had their bags packed for them already. When the likes of Mika Imminen and Alex Pagulayan can't get through qualifying, you know it's a strong field. Nicely done. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Look at that. You heard his nickname in his introduction as we just take another look at this. He's known here as the Fisherman, and that's just not some name that's been pulled out of thin air. That's, that's what he was. From the age of nine, his father died at three. He was also a fisherman, uh, was lost in a typhoon. And by the age of nine, he was out on boats catching fish to support his family. The story I heard his grandfather bought a pool table, and when he would come in from the sea, he would practice all night long. By the age of 15, he was playing money games all over the Philippines. Yes, it's a heartwarming story. That little kiss on the black, I don't think has done him any harm. Not sure if he wants to draw this ball or fall. Looks like he's drawing it. Appears to have gathered himself together finally and uh, got comfortable being on this stage. Might be a little too li too little too late though. Exactly what I was about to say, Jay. You can't spot Efren Reyes a four rack lead in a race to ten. That's. Uh, that is not going to get the job done. Look at Efren. He looks like the Zen master sitting there. <laughs> I mean, Dennis has got to get his game together, which he, as you say, fingers crossed, seems to have done. But he's going to need Efren to throw him a bone or two now if he's going to get back into this match. With the alternate break format, he's got to hope that Efren messes up a couple racks. See that this is a problem for him here. No, it really shouldn't be, should it? <laughs> is that cue ball going to work again? Kind of surprised me there. It didn't, mm. it didn't look like he had to do that. It's obviously what he wanted to do because he's got the placement he was after. Yeah, it's it's perfect yeah, that position. Was a, that was a planned shot, but I, I, I'm with you. He's asked that cue ball to do more than it seemed necessary. But anyway, he knew what he was doing. This is the most relaxed I've seen Dennis on any rack in this match, right here. And that was a nice rack. He pulls to within three. Is it too late? Well, Dennis Orcolio's just got to try and stay 
and Reyes's slipstream. If he can pull up a break back and then hold on his own break, he'd be within one. So this thing is not over yet. Big break right here for Efren. He wants to maintain that four game lead. That one's bouncing around a bit, but looks good. Look, looks very really good. good, doesn't it? He'll take that every time. That's the problem that Dennis has got when uh, Reyes is on seven racks and breaking like that. I think you can shoot the one on the side and just roll forward for the three. I mean, he's, he's not going to break serve on this rack. No. Unless uh, Reyes decides to put a blindfold on. Shoot the three down here and make the seven in the corner. He wants the three to just stay right there in front of the pocket. Just like that. Beautiful cue ball control there. I don't know if you noticed that. Put a lot of extreme right English on it to make the cue ball come down here to the end rail. Oh, he's making sure work of this. I thought you said his break was his weakness. If that's a weakness, heaven help us all. <laughs> he actually breaks better now than he did when he was younger. But he's not, he, not considered to have a powerful break, though. Not what he wanted to do. He wanted to go around the eight ball there. Yeah. He can shoot it in the side pocket. Yeah, it just made it a little bit harder for himself than he needed to. Yeah, it's a tricky little shot when you're that close to the ball and have to cut it. I tell you, if this stands up, you watch the jolt of electricity go through Dennis Oculio's body. No, nope, he's fine. He's fine. Just a moment there that uh, Orculio showed a little bit of interest in that rack, but no, Reyes kept him in his chair and moves to within two. You know, somehow, some way, Nick, you just know Efren's going to be a factor in this tournament. Well, getting knocked out in the group stages last year was a, a major shock. Never seemed to just quite to settle in Kaohsiung in Chinese Taipei. But here, a repeat performance of that simply would have been unacceptable. And that, that, that pressure did seem to get to him a little bit. He didn't sparkle Rack through 13. the group games. Oh, he missed that one nine ball. Four. That was to unbelievable. Match, yeah. Unbelievable. That's the enduring image of this year's World Pool Championship for me. Orculio needs another beauty of a break. No slip ups now. He's right on the edge. Wing ball goes. Now, is that two going to come over and be unpleasant to Dennis? He's got really no good shot at the one ball either. I thought for a moment the two was going to cover it up. I think he gets a shot. The overhead will tell us. Look, it takes a couple of rolls, but no, Dennis can see the edge at least. And uh, he just can't do anything with it except play safe. He's got no pocket for the one. I think we're going to see the one come down here to the end. Oh, he's, yeah, he's trying to use the two ball and it didn't work. He didn't get there. Once again, he was a little lacking on his position of the cue ball. He wanted the cue ball to go behind the two. Did you hear the little buzz of anticipation that went around this auditorium? I don't know. I have any idea what Efren's doing there. <laughs> we might as well just admit it, might we? <laughs> I'm looking at him thinking, Jay, help me out. What's he doing here? I have no idea what that was about. Let's <laughs> take a straw poll and find out if anybody knew what he was doing. He may think about this 1-9 combination. That's what I think he's thinking about. Because that's what he's looking at. And Nobody hits these shots any better than Efren. And that's, tell why, you. that's why the ripple went around the room. They saw it. 
his lead is such that he might just fancy this. But as you say, who knows? That's what he shot at. Uh, uh, it was but he played the cue ball at the same time. You see how well he did that? I don't think I don't think uh, Dennis is going to have an open shot at the one ball. It's a narrow channel between blue and pink. Can Dennis see anything through it? This was, in hindsight, we can say that that, that was never on. Basically, that was a free shot for Efren. He felt like he could shoot at the nine. If he missed it, he wasn't going to give up anything. Now, can Dennis slide that cue ball past the two and get sufficient angle on the one? Dennis seems to be fiddling around with these razor, razor tight lines throughout this whole match, doesn't he? Nothing's coming easy for him, or very little's coming easy for him. He may take the jump cue out here, because he can jump the edge of this two ball and make the one. Frankly, I'd be surprised if he doesn't, because he's, he's very good with the jump cue. He cannot shoot straight at this one and make it. I just don't see him doing this. Safety must be a safety. It better be a good one. That needs to stop. That needs to stop. Just did. Just did. Boy, this was close. Another half a roll, and Reyes' eyes would have been out on stalks. Well, oh, no, actually, maybe a little bit more than that. The angle was deceptive, but it was still getting a bit too close for comfort for Dennis. I'm looking for a little magic from Efren right here. He may actually try to bank this ball cross side. Oh, he banked it. Long <laughs> rip, long rip. Almost made it. He's rubbish, this Efren Reyes, isn't he? <laughs> How could you try that? What a shot. And it so nearly came off. He's pushed that black out of the way. And Dennis may uh, have cause to say thank you very much. Yeah, it looks like he's got enough room to shoot the one. Mm, no, That's he what he's has. looking at. Can I shoot the one in the corner if he can? Yeah, he's got a, he's got a chance to take this wreck. It is on the Orcolio serve. Uh, serve. He did uh, break for this rack before we all start getting too excited. This isn't clawing anything back on Reyes. But I think if Reyes had taken this rack, we could have all uh, turned the lights off and gone home. But Dennis will keep himself in with just a chance. Unfortunately, if they trade games, it's going to be no good for Dennis. Yeah, but Jay, how long have you been around this game? 5-8 is no insurmountable deficit. It only takes one little blink from uh, Reyes, and this fella could be right back in it. That's why he's got to keep playing these racks. Well, he's in good shape, this rack. Efren took a little bit of a chance with that bank shot, but I, he felt like he could make it, and he almost did. Dennis is on his game now. But he's got to find a way to win more than one game in a row. That's the secret, isn't it? But he's got to be the same to himself. Well, Efren's broken so well. Last two or three racks. He's got to have a change of luck at some point. And if he does get up to the table on the Reyes break, that's when he's got to make his move. He's not out of this. 8-5 is not... Smooth sailing. You'd rather be 8-5 than 5-8, of course, but it is not game over. 8-5 is what we have. The next rack could be very interesting indeed.
Dennis really needs it. Can Reyes conjure up another magic break? Welcome back to the uh, last few moments, potentially, of an absorbing day five here at the World Pool Championship. Efren Reyes stepping up to the plate, needs two more to secure a spot in the last 32. Dennis Ocolio, though, waits for any stumble from the great man. He has been breaking so well. Can he continue it, or will the luck start to even out? Another goes. Break. Yeah, Another the ninth break. going. Ninth oh. gone. Oh, there it goes. Who said he had a bad break? <laughs> <laughs> that is a knife through the heart of Dennis Ocolio. Just like that, Efren Reyes climbs onto the hill. What a sickener for Dennis. What a moment for these fans, though. They loved it. Look at that kick. It's the pink. I wonder if this match is going to be prophetic about the rest of the week for Efren. Well, this wasn't Dennis's match from that first rack when he scratched on the break and then watched Efren fluke the nine. The pool gods had made their statement as early as rack one. Efren, you, we're going to give you another one. Please. Dennis, you got no chance. And right now, it's looking like that's how it's panning out, because Dennis Ocolio surely can't come back from this. Well, Dennis has got no quit in him, but he just can't stop Efren on his break. What a kick in the teeth when you're sat in the other chair, though, and the guy gets a golden break. There is a look of resignation on Dennis's face. This is out of his hands now. He's got the 2-5 combination here, which is on. And there's a nasty cluster forming. If he doesn't get it, though. Which, of course, if he goes for it, he'll clear it up, whatever. And he has got it, and that has cleared up the cluster just like that. He's got good position. I'm not sure if the two passes the nine. That's what he just leaned down to look at. Like to see how that two nine lines up on the corner pocket. Of course, if he goes for it and misses it, it's um, game set and match. The two will. The two looks passes. Like the two will just barely pass the nine. You may have to just cheat the pocket slightly, aim for half a pocket, but it's another one of those, isn't it, for Dennis? How often has he stood up here and? He's needed to get a razor blade out to see if the, the ball will pass. And a he's in a very, yeah, yeah, got a very awkward stance there, too. He's got to lay, lay himself over the table. He knows he needs to make this shot if he shoots at it. Yeah, and where's his confidence level? It's been uh, a tough night out for uh, Dennis Ocolio. As nights out against Efren Reyes. Wow, so what a shot. Nah, but that's a what super a shot. shot. That was a difficult combination. And he hit it perfectly. So Dennis says, you want to play games with the nine ball? OK, I can play games with the nine ball too. But has this come too late? That's a super shot, it really is. That was not automatic by any means. Scrappy player, this man. But he knows he's in trouble. This crowd's getting its money's worth. I mean, there was absolutely nothing wrong with that combination, but it just means we get to see Efren sooner than we expected. Rack 16. Efren Reyes to break, leading by nine racks to six. Those early mistakes in the match to Dennis have come back to haunt him now. 
And even if he does break the uh, Reyes serve here, he'd have to hold and then break again. So, Reyes has been breaking well, too. Yeah, hasn't he just? In goes the one into the side. Is he going to have this anything on the two? Where's it's that going to shape hold up good. It's going to oh shape up boy. good. Oh, boy. Another good break. Tell you something. If Efren breaks like this all week, he's going to be hard to beat. Well, he's found something special on his break tonight. And if I'm Dennis or Collier, I'm looking at that table and thinking, I might as well get comfortable in this chair. <coughs> we will be seeing the magician in the round of 32. Chair Dennis is in and starting to feel like the electric chair right now, and he's getting <laughs> executed. He looks resigned, doesn't he? Well, as you would. Be careful, Efren. Don't touch anything. Capper of a masterful performance by Efren Reyes. He's in fine form. A bit special. It really was. These fans have packed the rafters, and at 10 to 1 in the morning, they're still here, and they've waited for this moment. The adoring fans. They loved it, every minute of it. Dennis Orcolio, like so many before him, has tried to tame the master and been found wanting. 10-6, just about an accurate reflection of the action. A couple of errors from Dennis early, and there's no way back from a deficit when Efren Reyes is in the mood and he's knocking down golden breaks for fun.